remember. I, I think I found out at some point. So... With 61 to go, Ferrucci was leading and Bourdais was second. That was the lap. And then they come in. So Sato takes the lead. And I think on his outlap, Bourdais crashed. So I'm, I'm waiting for the scoring. Okay, so Sato takes the lead. I'm, I'm literally watching this in real time. I don't know. I guess I can do double speed. But okay, so... It, it really got me confused, because then I went to look at the post-race results on the scoring website, and I realized it wasn't showing the end after I'd done all the points, so then I went to Racing Reference and updated it, because <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, these don't add up correctly. I'm glad he won, though. I'm glad that fuckboy Ferrucci didn't win. Today's game is at the Metrodome, home so, of the Minnesota Twins. A, he's, Hello everyone, he I'm Dwayne Kuyper along with Mike Kruko for EA Sports MVP Baseball. When he tried to defend and himself, we're set to go, so today's starter, John a, Burnett. Just a so Sato's leading today's Marco American Pets. game is between the Boston Red Sox Bourdais and the Minnesota and, Twins. Or, let's see, so it's right now showing... Yeah. Sato, right. Canon, and Here's the game's on first batter, Johnny Damon. Down. I don't know if this is cycle three though. They're still green. Okay, New Garden Cycles turned 20 seconds off the lead. I think Hunter Ray, and then the scoring just completely dirt shows everybody except Sato will have to think. Okay, the yellow came out with 57 to go. And now I'm going to wait for the field to get picked up. Kanan's 11 seconds back on the lead lap. Carpenter's 12 seconds back on the lead lap. I think New Garden stays on the lead lap here. Waiting for it to cycle. And he gets the call stride. Marco was in the pits. Caught him looking. Yeah, New Garden, I, I think it was Sato, Kanan, Carpenter, and New Garden were the only ones on the lead lap. When the yellow came out, then all four of them pit, which lets everybody wave around, and they get to stay at the front of the field. I think that's what happened there. Because then we got the restart, Ferrucci was Burnett like, what, 5th or 6th? Yeah, Ray Hall pitted, even though he was left on. Ray Hall pitted and screwed himself, but he was having mechanical issues at that point. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Yeah, I think that's what happened there. Is I think the top four were the only ones on the lead lap when the yellow came out. They all pitted, which let everyone get waved around the pace car and left them at the front of the field with fresh tires. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Well, at least as far as I can tell, that seems to be what happened. They did not do a good job of describing that on the race broadcast. Granted, I'm going to complain about the race broadcast. They could never tell what lap anybody was on, who was down a lap, what car was going by the guys coming out of the pits. They had no idea what they were talking about the entire night. Good thing they just they called out a cart as somebody looked at this. Oh, there goes, you know, Hinchcliffe. When James Hinchcliffe is at start finish and we can see him, was insane. And then at, at the finish, they're like, oh, Rossi gets by Newgarden. I'm like, Newgarden and La Rossi aren't on the same lap. Rossi pitted and is a lap behind him. He's not picking up a spot at all here. He can throw four different pitches. I don't think they knew what was happening. I'm Nobody out. of the honest opinion that their normal timing screen they look at may not have been working at all all night, and two. they didn't know how to do their jobs. <laughs> it's the only thing I can think of. Three pitches, three strikes. Was extended caution wasn't in there at the end. By the way, I, I meant to check. I'm hoping Ferrucci got a penalty for what he did to New York because that was dangerous, blocking ass driving to come from the gray, cut down the track, and wreck Newgarden was pretty fucked up. Gathers it in with his glove. Two out. He was hit miserably. Well, that, that was on the other end of the track. He was up in the gray, losing the car, and then turned down the track in front of Newgarden to block him as Newgarden went to pass him on the last lap. Clement throws it over for a strike. Pitcher really painted. Well, it, it started a few corners before. He got up in the gray earlier in the lap and was still trying to get his tires cleaned up. And got back up in the gray again in that lap because he was just pushing way harder than the car had in it to try to make spots at the end there. After one inning, the game is scoreless. 
leading up. Well, no, he didn't because Rossi was a lap down. Yes, Rossi was not on the same lap. He lost the lap when he pitted. It's hit out to center. Hunter should have no problem. Makes the catch. No, he did, he did not get it back. Next up, Manny Ramirez. So yeah, where that caution came up for more day really fucked everybody who had pitted. No chance. Especially people who had pitted who still couldn't make it, like Rossi. Well, the batter knew as soon as he hit the ball, he wasn't going to get caught. What an impressive swing of the bat. He already got the points updated. Uh, Gimsa went very well for me. Jackson is next up. Yeah, I mean, you and I ended up on the same points for that race. I made two points on you over the whole weekend because of the Gimsa race. Kevin had his best week ever, and Zach had a decent week. Zach won the week. He would have done better if he didn't have literally the worst IMSA team. In there at the level. Um, Spears got fucked. A stud, Kite. He expects to be on that mount all the way to the ninth inning every time. Bourdais and Ray Hall. That's the second out. Sheets. Uh, Bourdais crashed. Ray Hall had a mechanical failure right at the end of the race, so he got 37 points out of the uh, IndyCar race and five points out of the IMSA race. The only person he beat IMSA was Zach. So he scored 42 for the week. I scored 26. Kevin 27. Zach 24, and you got 28. Zone. Tough pitch to hit. The batter didn't offer. Uh, the points are pretty close. Um, you lead at 1691. I'm second at 1709. Spears third at 1714. And Zach's trying to call back at 1771. And Kevin is still irrelevant at 2177. Score one that half inning. Not relevant at all. He has. I don't think he has any chance left at this point. I've, I've, I've been doing the average points. So I'm averaging 65-7. Uh, you're averaging 65-0. Spear 65-9. Zach 68-1. Kevin is averaging an 83-7. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls in baseball to judge. Well, it. it it's one of those suggestions that Kevin had that really does work, is to do lower is better, makes it so we don't have to do something weird to balance the series. A first place is worth the same value, more or less, across all the series. A first place is still, I think, worth more in NASCAR, because a last place is more points, but it's pretty even. IMSA really doesn't matter, and we probably won't do it next season, because I don't think there'll be enough teams. Because uh, the Fords are going away, and I think the BMWs are going away. So, there'll be two teams, and it'll be completely pointless. We won't have enough teams to choose from. The slider and the slur. Well, I'm assuming the Fords are going away, because Fords pulling the plug on that. I don't know what Ganassi is going to do. They might go back to prototype. Um, the BMW, I believe that car is done. I don't know if RLL is going to continue to run them, but they're honestly never in contention anyway. Reese is a part-time team anyway. Reese Competizione. No, Reese Competizione. Not Reese, not Reese. Reese. With two innings played, Boston leads by one. Competizione. You should be better with Italian. There's a high stride. He's got four solid pitches. They only ran Daytona. Fly ball hit the other way to left. Good start. Uh, the uh, well, they felt the balance of the, the BOP was unfair towards their car. That's why they, they didn't run the rest of the season. So that would do it. And the pitch. Well, they, they went and ran the running the world challenge. This lefty has confidence with two different pitches. Both are pretty solid. That one's rolled a second. His foot misses the bag. Now Damon steps into the batter's box. There's you know what, honestly, Tony, I don't even know if that series is aired anywhere. That one's hit foul, but there's some room to make a play. He catches it in foul territory. Dirksen takes his turn at bat. Where do they come from? And 
the first pitch yeah, drop. It's, it's a, here you go. Here, here's, their, here's their website. There's a line drive. He's on first. Trying to be about. It. Hey, the guy thought he could sneak that slider by him. I'm trying to figure out where so they actually might be getting out. I feel like maybe this is on the CBS Sports Network or I've seen it online. Outside, one ball and one strike. They're running Vegas with World Challenge? What the fuck? Two balls and two strikes. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. There's a line drive. He's on his way to the plate. And a run scores. With that two-out hit, he brings a runner home. Nice work by the base runner to score from second on the single. The manager's got to be happy with the job they're doing on the base. Uh, they are. It is on the CBS Sports Network. Next up, um, well, let me find. Let, let, let me get you the competitors and see if you've ever heard of anybody. Uh, competitors, because that's that's uh, t uh, drivers. This is drivers. Called a ball. Um, uh, you've heard of Colin Brown and Alex yes. Barrett. Inside. Yes. Yes. Dean Cameron. No. Uh, Guy Cosmos, Ryan Dial, uh, Ryan Eversley, Scott Hargrove, Will Penzler, uh, Andy Lally, uh, Anthony Lazaro, Patrick Long. Uh, I've heard of Anthony Lazaro. Matt Long. Uh, Judge Varner, Tony Vilanda, Mike Skeen. Three and two. I don't know, you want me to try to find out for it? Uh, it doesn't say, but based on the picture, I'm going to say old. Also, he races for Rizzi Competizione. Stepping in, Manny Ramirez. Did, did you not recognize NASCAR Rookie of the Year, Andy Lally? see a ton of strikeouts when this left hander's pitching. I did too say Andy Lally and Patrick Ball. Look at the inside edge. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. Let's see, let's see if you would recognize any of these teams. Uh, Allegra Motorsport, um, K-Pax, um, Real Time, Racer's Edge, Racing Competizione, Turner, uh, Wright, Spondor Bossa. Essentially, Tony, it's a GT3 series. And their next event is Watkins Glen. Up next. Well, it's on CBS Sports Network. It, and GT3 is not really caught on big here. This is really a competitor series to IMSA, although there's a lot of crossover teams. Well, it's just like it's GT3. GT3 is GT3, so. What playoff are they going to run at Vegas? I'm really curious about that. And this guy digs in. He crushed that one. It's off the wall. Safe. He slides in there with a double. Not many guys turn that thing into a double. You're talking extra hustle, great slide, everything to get that double. The next batter is Luis Riva. This hitter enjoys modest success against right-handed pitching. Hit foul. No swing. Sinker misses low. Oh. 
That's three strikeouts. After three, Boston leads by two. He is out there with none stuff. Pitch missed inside. A ball. Pizza and chicken poppers. Papillons. That's a ground ball hit to the second baseman. One out. Oh, it was 10 bucks for 15 piece, but I don't try to set off coupons. That felt okay about it. 0 and 1 the count. Hit the other way out to right. Makes the catch to record the out. He picked that ball up right off the bat and camped under for an easy out. Next up, David Ortiz. Back up the middle. That's another base hit. Stepping in, Trot Nixon. One on and two outs. Fastball low. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Change misses downstairs. Okay, for that first baseman holding the runner on, there's a big hole on the right side of the infield. He's got to be thinking about that with a hit and run. That's a two-out base on balls. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. I mean, he just lets him get away. Damon makes his way to the plate. Low slider. One ball, one strike. Hit towards the shortstop. He's out on an easy play. Going into the bottom of the fourth, the score is two to nothing. Up next, Jock Jones. Up the middle. There's an out. Next at the plate, Justin Morneau. Taken for a ball. Line sharply, that's a base hit. He's on with a one out single. The next batter is Joe Power. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Perez turns to the play. Two outs and one on. Hard hit ball out to short. He's in there with a two out single. Next up, Juan Uribe. 
This guy can flat out run. He really puts the pressure on the defense when he's flying around the bases. It's sharply in the left field for a single. That takes care of the side. With five innings left to play, the score is two to nothing. Here's a guy that understands hitting, and it shows. Dirksen takes below the knees. Two balls, no strikes. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase him. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Three and one. He swiped one base. He gives up the base on balls. Walks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the at bat. The runner at first is going. Not in time. The guy walked right into his lead. He never had a chance to throw him out. Here's the pitch. The kite, the key to scoring runs is cashing in in these run scoring situations. Let's see if they can knock in that guy at second school run. Pitch taken for a ball. Two balls in one strike. Hit towards the shortstop. Caught by the shortstop. Stepping in, Mike Lowe. Here comes the first pitch of the at bat. The center fielder's got a strong arm, so if it's hit to him, expect there to be a play at the plate. There's a strike with the changeup. He delivers. Ground ball to the shortstop. They make the play. The Twins have someone up in the bullpen. Up next, Manny Ramirez. Okay, this team really needs a big hit from this guy right here with that runner on third base. There's a lot of ways to get him home. He needs to find one. In the hole. Third out, we go to the bottom of the inning. Going into the bottom of the fifth, the Red Sox lead by a pair of runs. Here comes the bottom of the order, going off the inning. This guy swings a decent bat, but he's probably not going to win any batting titles. A liner. That's the first out. Next up to play, Torrey Hunter. This batter's been known to go on streaks versus right-handed pitching. Hit to center field. Damon makes the grab for the out. Got a good jump on the slot off the bat. Got underneath the hand easy play. At bat with a double, Shannon Stewart. Hit towards, he's got it. What a tremendous diving play. That'll do it for the Twins with four innings remaining. With four innings left, the score is two to nothing. For more on MVP Baseball, log on to easports.com. EA Sports, it's in the game. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Oh. And tight. In tight. Got him. Two outs. 
stepping in at a perfect two for two, David Ortiz. Hit towards the shortstop. Burnett retires the side in order. After five and a half, the score is two to nothing. The next batter is Luis Riva. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Perfect pitch, partner, right on the edge of the strike zone. The batter swung right through it. Inside. Last season, he batted 247 with one long ball and 11 RBIs. Line drive right to the shortstop. He's on first with a base hit. The Twins have some activity down in their pen. Next up, Jock Jones. This hitter isn't afraid of right-handed pitching. Chases one low and misses for a strike. One's gonna fall in for a hit. He's on first with a base hit. From the time that ball at the bat, that ball had no chance of being caught. The Twins are warming up a lefty and a righty in the bullpen. At bat with a single, Justin Morneau. Runners on first and second, nobody out. Kipe, look for them to wave that runner home if it's a ball hit the center. The center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. That's a foul pop, and it looks like there's room for a play. He makes the grab in foul ground. Stepping in, Joe Mauer. Here's an example of a guy who loves facing right-handed pitchers. And the pitch. Strike with a fastball. And on three pitches, he's gone. Okay, this dude needs to keep his head up. He hasn't hit his best game. He'll live to play another day. Perez gets this one to left. That'll do it for the Twins in the sixth. The Red Sox lead by two, and we have three innings left. And he swings and misses. Better have no choice right there. Take it, and it's a strike. And what a sweet pitch. He sends this pitch towards second base. Ow! Levi's really made a nice throw right there. That's a job well done. Up next, Johnny Damon. The delivery. The ball is pulled to the right side. Got him! Two outs and the bases are empty. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Miss.
The bat went through the zone. Dirksen hits one to deep center. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the seventh. All right, everybody, up on their feet. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I could use a bit of a break. Next at the plate, Juan Uribe. This guy can really motor down the line, so the defense needs to feel the ball cleanly. The pitch. Look out! That one's off the pitcher. And he's safe. That's an infield base hit. He's got good wheels, and he hustled all the way down the line. The delivery. This guy can steal a bag with the best of them. He could be going on this count. He hits it out of line the other way. He's rounding third. Safe at second. A run crosses the plate. Hey, Kai, good work there to get the runner in the score position. Pitch. Dummies a bunt. Miss low and away. There's a push bunt. Safe at first. The skipper has pulled the infield in. Stepping in one for two, Shannon Stewart. With this guy hitting kite, the infielders should be on their toes. This guy's got some great wheels. Fastball misses upstairs. Taken for a ball. It's a hitter's count, 3 0. Four in a row out of the zone. That's the pitcher's fourth walk of the game. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Luis Riva. No outs, and the bases are loaded. Take slow. And it's hit to right. Nixon should have no problem. He's tagging. The tying run crosses the play. To me, that's a successful bat. That's a bat. Every time you can drive it a run, you've done your job. Second with one down. Line drive with the other way. He's on with a single. Pat, that was a good piece of hitting. He didn't try to do too much. He just took it the game. Stepping in one for three, Justin Morneau. The bat went through the zone. Low. Oh. 
And the inning is over with two runners left on board. Now there's a great example of the defense picking you up. They turned a sweet double play right there. After seven innings, this contest is tied. Now the pitcher's got to face this team's big hitters. He hits a roller to the right side. And he's out at first base. The Twins have some pitchers up in the bullpen. The corners are hugging the lines. Stepping in, Mike Lowell. This right-hander just dominates lefty pitching. Caught by the center fielder. Bringing in a righty to face the right-handed hitter is a good move, partner, because it creates a mismatch in the pitcher's favor. Up next, Manny Ramirez. Low for a ball. High for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Hitters count three and one. Turns on it and hits it on a line. He's on first with a base hit. Jackson steps in at the plate. This right-handed hitter usually performs well when there are right-handers on the mound. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. The score is tied. Next at the plate, Joe Mauer. And here comes the hook. Dempster comes in to try to provide some relief. One of them. Big strike out there, partner. Perez steps into the box. He sends it over towards first. He's got it for the out. The next batter is Juan Uribe. He goes with the pitch and hits a fly ball to right. And he makes the catch. And he gives up everything to get that ball and make the catch. Bringing in the righty right here is a good move because right-handed hitters can have trouble picking up his breaking pitches. Leading off the bottom of the order. This right-handed batter has decent success against righty pitching. There's a line drop. He laid out and makes the grab. How 
That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. Next up, David Ortiz. This lefty has good success against right-handed pitchers. The count's 0-2. He makes the catch. Stepping in, Trot Nixon. Swing and a high fly ball to left field. The side is retired, the home team coming up next. Going into the bottom of the ninth, it's tied at 2-2. Bottom of the order coming up. Thomas takes ball one. He delivers. catch and have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking the deals. Payoff pitch coming. He goes down on strikes. Hey, Kai, you know, every once in a while, you just got to reach back and come up with a good strikeout pitch. Up next, Tory Hunter. Pitchers ahead, one and two. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. They appeal to the first base on. No. The count is even at two. Right, Swing right, and a miss. Struck him out. Hey, sometimes you make a good pitch, and that was one of them. Big strike out there, partner. Next up the plate, Shannon Stewart. This guy swings a pretty quick stick. Yank to the left side. Nothing's been decided yet. We're going to extra innings. After nine innings, it's tied at 2-2. The next batter is Johnny Damon. This lefty can hold his own with the best hitters in baseball. for a ball. Curveball is up for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He swiped one base. They asked the third base umpire if he swung. He goes with the pitch and takes it down the left side. They got him. Swing. Dirksen sends it to first. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Easy out.
No swing. 1-1 one, one pitch. That retires the side. In extra innings, this contest is tied. Stepping in one for three, Luis Rivas. This is a good move, Kai, because right-handed hitters have some trouble picking up off-speed pitches from right-handed pitchers. Be sure to join us at our next home game for Beach Town. Brown ball hit down the left side. He's off the base. Stepping in two for four, Jock Jones. Okay, this is an ideal bunting situation. The defense needs to be prepared. Ground ball to the right side. He's on his way to third. That's a base hit. The outfielders are playing in. Next up, Justin Morneau. The game-winning run comes home. Nathan picks up the win. Dickey is saddled with the loss. The Minnesota Twins win it by one. The losing pitcher is R.A. Dickey. Join us tomorrow when Minnesota Twins and Boston Red Sox. Thank you for coming out to the ballpark, and we hope you return soon.